Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California, and today I'm in front of the Viva Supermarket. It's a real popular location in Oceanside where they have like a Taco Tuesday where you can get like a, a street taco, like a chorizo or a carne asada for like a dollar, and then you can get either two sodas for a dollar or one soda for 60 cents, just like a canned soda. So it's really cool and um, wanted to shoot from a different location this time kind of wanted to show you what it's like to have time freedom and location freedom. So it's one of the benefits of being a cryptocurrency investor. So today I'm going to talk about the, the coin Aave, A-A-V-E, which is ticker A-A-V-E and why I purchase them and why I hold a position. Okay, but before I do that, I got to get into my legal disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All of us, including myself, are responsible for making our own investment decisions. Okay, so let's get started. Um, Aave, A-A-V-E, is a word that means ghost. Um, and they stuck with this uh, brand name, um, Ghost, because Aave refers to the decentralized nature of the project. It's also referred to as the intermedi intermediary eliminator, because it allows people to lend and borrow on the platform without a middleman like a banker, something like that. And that's why they call it the intermediate, intermediary eliminator. Okay, so right now, uh, this coin currently has uh, $15.9 billion in liquidity, which is very impressive according to their website at aave.com. This liquidity is locked in Aave across eight networks in over 15 different markets. Um, right now, it's currently the largest crypto lending protocol there is. Um, there's a real good chance uh, they're going to remain the largest as well since they already have their kind of their foot in the door. Um, and they've, they've been um, thinking about this project for a very long time. When you lend and borrow money on this platform, it's completely anonymous. Um, no banks regulate it and no one can see what you're doing. Um, you never know who's on the other side of the smart contract. Um, this protects your anonymity your anonymity, whether you're a borrower or a lender. Um, Avi, once again, ticker AAVE, it's, it's a decentralized finance application that allows people to lend and borrow cryptocurrency in turn for getting and paying fees. Um, Avi is a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform using cryptocurrency as the asset that is traded. Um, however, Avi uses an algorithm to, ter to determine lending rates and to match lenders to borrowers. Um, Aave has a token uh, that operates on the Ethereum network and that powers the governance of this token. So when you own Aave, you have governance rights. Um, you, you, that means you get to vote on changes to the application as time goes on. Um, so I just want to let you know up front, I do own some Aave. I'm an investor. Um, so I want to talk next about uh, a company that came before Aave called ETHLAND. This, this, this started in 2017. And there was a team of developers that created something called ETHLAND. Uh, this platform matched lenders to different borrowers. And one of the problems uh, was the borrowers had to wait around for the lender to meet them. Two problems they faced were liquidity, which is the amount of money in the system. So ETHLAND was a good concept, but it had two major problems. The first was liquidity, which means liquidity is the amount of money that was in the system and there was a lack of it. Um, the other problem that they had uh, was uh, matching borrowers to lenders. This actually had to be done manually with ETHLAND. It wasn't done through an automated process. And this is what um, how the birth of Aave was conceived. Um, they wanted to do something better and, and quicker and more automated. So in 2020, ETHLAND got overhauled by the same company and Aave was created. Um, this is owned by Aave Companies, which is now rebranding to Ava Avara, spelled A-V-A-R-A, um, but the token Aave will remain the same. Um, and you could, its founder was Stani, S-T-A-N-I, Kulichov, K-U-L-E-C-H-O-V. Uh, Stani said the crypto bear market was a dynamic that helped them uh, pivot their product. Um, so while everyone was, you know, the bear market, nobody liked the bear market that we had or the six year crypto winter that we had that seemed to last from uh, 2018 to 2000. 23 actually um, nobody liked that but they, they took advantage of that time to develop their business and, 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 and to get every get all their ducks in a row basically um, Aave uses smart contracts um, which are basically little small snippets of code that uh, get run automatically based on certain conditions to run the platform 
Um, and this is how Avi works. This is just a quick rundown so you understand the basic concept. Um, instead of using peer-to-peer -peer lending like Eflan did, um, where a borrower had to match uh, with a lender, Avi uses a peer to a smart contract method which automates this entire process. Lenders can now deposit money into a smart contract in their interest. Uh, borrowers, borrowers, on the other hand, can deposit their collateral into another smart contract. They also have the ability to choose any smart contract they want to borrow from. Um, they can use algorithms in the smart contract to determine loan rates based on how much liquidity uh, is in each smart contract. Now, you don't have to be a mathematician or figure any of this out. The system does this automatically. I figured you knew that, but I wanted to make sure. Now, let's talk about some lending returns. Like, if you go to app.aave.com forward slash markets, you can see the current rates for borrowing and lending. Uh, you lend your crypto to Aave, and they pay you interest on it. After you loan your crypto to Aave, um, you can even decide to borrow against it. Now let's talk about borrowing. Borrowing crypto doesn't work like buying uh, a house and a car. Um, in, in order to borrow crypto, you actually need to be over collateralized um, when, when you're borrowing from Aave. For example, if you wanna borrow $100, you might have to use $120 worth of collateral. So you. It's not like buying a house where you can only pay 80% of the value and get a loan. You actually have to pay over what over what you want to borrow in order to get the loan. So let's say you wanted to borrow $100 in Ethereum, for example, and the lender gives you back $80 in Tether, which is a stable coin that's pegged to the US dollar. You can use this $80 for a few months, then decide to pay it back and get your Ethereum back. Um, but by then, the Ethereum you lent might have doubled in value so now instead of getting back one hundred dollars you're getting back two hundred dollars that's how you leverage yourself when making a, a, a you know getting borrowing from Aave um, you can also cash out your ethereum for double the value but 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 however it doesn't always work on the positive side of things it's a, it's a double-edged sword basically um, so I'm going to talk about the liquidation threshold uh, that they have um, Aave has a liquidation threshold where they will automatically sell your collateral to cover the loan you created. This way, investors um, and lenders uh, will never lose money. So investors are actually protected with this system. Um, for They're protected more than the borrowers because of the liquidation threshold. Uh, let's say, for example, you put up $100 of Ethereum as collateral and the maximum loan to value of Ethereum was 80%, which means you'll get $80 back in Tether which is a stable coin pegged to the US dollar. During this period, if the price of Ethereum drops below 82.5% of the collateralized value that you put up, uh, which is the official Aave liquidation percentage, Aave will automatically take your Ethereum and use it to pay back the lender. However, you'll still be able to keep the $80 of Tether that you borrowed. So they're not, they're not, you're not losing everything, you're just losing what, you know, basically what, the, the, the Ethereum that goes back to the lender. Um, leverage lending. Now, using Aave, you can create a very leveraged position, which is borrowing on steroids. For example, let's say you have $200 of Ethereum. You deposit $200 of Ethereum to Aave and withdraw $160 to uh, UDSC, which is an Ethereum uh, stablecoin. Um, you can now take this $160 of, U of UDSC, go to Uniswap, and trade it out for more Ethereum which you can go back to Aave and deposit. Now you have $360 in Ethereum after the $160 you just deposited. Um, now you can still take out 80% of this $160, which is $128 in UDS, or U, UDSC. Um, now you can take this $128 of UDSC, trade it for more Ethereum, and add it back to your account in Aave. So you can keep, you can keep getting more and more money by doing this particular method. So now you have $488 in Ethereum you borrowed against, even though you have only had an original $200 to start with. If the Ethereum goes up 10%, you will have made $48.80. If you didn't create that leverage position, however, you would have only gained about $20. Um, so, so however, if the price of Ethereum goes down, you're pretty much screwed. Um, if it goes under the liquidation uh, threshold below 82.5%, as mentioned earlier, 82.5% of, of the price you actually pay for it. So Avi will take all the Ethereum you gave them and the lender will be made whole. So let's talk about paying back loans. Since you already put up over 100% collateral for the loan, 
Avi just wants you to log in once in a while and pay back a little bit of the loan every now and then. Um, th these aren't these loans aren't like the same as traditional loans, you know, that that are created by a bank where they have to be paid back by a, a specific date. Um, Avi actually says that there's no fixed time period to pay back the loan and you could borrow for an undefined period. Um, that sounds good, but however, it's something you need to keep in mind is that the accrued interest will grow and then making your health factor decrease. So when you borrow money from Avi, they give you what they call a health factor and if that decreases too much, um, it could cause your assets to be liquidated by Avi and, and pay back the lender with those. Now, Avi has a new program uh, they came out with recently, which is called Flash Loans. Um, and, and they're promoting this as one of their main selling points right now. Um, a Flash Loan is a cryptocurrency loan where you can borrow up to millions of dollars without putting up any collateral. Um, but there's a catch, and the catch is a Flash Loan has to be paid back in the same cryptocurrency block that it was borrowed in, which means you currently have about 13 minutes to pay back the loan. So every 13 minutes, you're going to be on a new block so they want you to pay back that loan literally within 13 minutes um but there's a way to benefit from this if you're if you're slick um let's say for example you buy binance you buy ethereum at binance for ten dollars and you can sell it on coinbase for ten dollars and ten cents after all the fees right each time you did this you would make ten cents or a dime but if you leverage millions of dollars and were able to keep doing this many times over uh, if you use the Ethereum network, this loan might uh, have to be paid back in 13 seconds, but if you have some funds on the side to cover yourself and you're still able to do this, you might be able to make this work. It's something you can test and try and see if it works for you. It might be something to check out. So let's go over some tokenomics of Aave. Okay, right now, they have a market cap of 1.2 billion. That's incredibly low for, the, for, for, for a DeFi lending and borrowing platform. I mean, this can end up being in you know, 50 to 100 billion easy down the road. Um, price per token is currently $82.30 at the time of me making this video right now. And so far the 24 hour, the 24 hour volume is 61 million. The circulating supply is 14.8 million and the total and max supply is 16 million. So the circulating supply of 14.8 million is only $1.2 million off from the max supply of uh, 16 million. So we're, we're almost at the max supply right now, almost 80%. Actually more than that, it's like 85%. Um, so the fully diluted market cap of this coin is $1.3 billion. This is the total value of this crypto asset calculated under the assumption that all the project, project's tokens have already been distributed. We're not here yet, but we're very close. The highest price um, paid for Aave is $661.69, which was recorded on May 18th, 2021. This was almost three years ago. So based on the price of Aave back then and what it is now, <coughs> that's almost like eight times you know, what, what, what it is as at the time I recorded this video. Um, so let's talk about purchasing Aave. You can purchase Aave on Coinbase, um, which they offer directly on their platform. You don't have to use the wallet. And you can also buy it on Kraken, which is also another US friendly exchange. You can also purchase it sit on a, on a service called Balancer, which is a DeFi liquidity pool, you know, as long as you use the Ethereum network. Um, I've personally never used Balancer, so I think it would be a lot easier to get this directly on Coinbase. But if you use Balancer before and you feel comfortable with it, that's another option for you. Um, it's available on other small exchanges, but I've done a lot of research and most of them aren't very US friendly. There's a lot of um, anti-money mon uh, anti laundering laws and other things that keep a lot of these small exchanges. They don't want US people in them because apparently our government causes them problems. So, let's, so billionaire Mark Cuban said that Avi could even surpass JP Morgan um, in market cap if this technology catches on and gets mass adopted in the future. We're talking about lending and borrowing. I mean, if this ends up being the biggest one, I mean, there's no reason why it couldn't be $100 billion down the road. And right now it's only, what did I say it was about? 1.2, barely over a billion. This thing's a baby. Um, so if it did surpass JP Morgan, the market cap would be about $330 billion. This would give this project a 275X from where it is right now. That's a very, very, very bullish case. And I'm not saying, I'm not even insinuating that it could go there, but I'm just giving, that's what Mark Cuban thinks it could do. Um, and he's a billionaire and you know, he knows a lot of stuff. 
Um, so this speaks volumes about the potential of this project and why I'm very comfortable allocating to it. I use it with the plant like I do um, my other tokens and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to DCA more into it but I have a decent position what I like to call an average position. Um, I have about 21 tokens that are pretty well balanced out as far as how much I have in them. Um, but look, however keeping it real other depot you know the other thing to consider is that other depot yeah. DeFi, decentralized finance, lending platforms will also be onboarding this cycle. There's a lot of small caps that are coming on that say they can do what, what uh, Avi does, but even better. We don't know that yet because they're way too new. But we'll find out in the next four to five years. I, I think Avi is going to remain the leader because they already have their foot in the door and, and, and they've got they've already have a good start. It, it, um, See, a lot of these small projects might not have the resources or the team to pass off a, uh, but it could slow the project down some if one becomes kind of a mid-cap or, or a few become mid-caps. Uh, so my bet is that off a could become the biggest lending and borrowing protocol in DeFi, which, which it currently is. But it, my, my bet is that it will actually stay there and grow even more. Um, they currently have the infrastructure and team to pull this off. Um, I plan on holding this bag till at least 2030 and then make a decision from there what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll take some partial profits and keep the rest in, or maybe I'll just keep it all in, I don't know. We'll just see how they're doing and I'll make a decision at that time, but I'm not gonna to touch it for a while. Um, I'm, I'm trading on it with a bot. Um, with my membership with the plan, I'm able to trade on it with a bot, so I'll make even more money with it. So I'm not gonna pull it out in 2026 when the market starts going like this, like a lot of people will at that time. So that's about all I have for this video. I'm going to be in touch pretty soon with another uh, play in the next two to three days. Um, so that's about it. Peace out and have an incredible day. Um, take care from Oceanside, California. See ya. Bye.